Today, I'm gonna show how we can get started with clay.com. If you're not familiar with clay, they basically allow us to make super personalized, super scalable, targeted cold campaigns. We're gonna be able to make our own personalized LinkedIn outreach campaigns using clay's amazing waterfall enrichment features, which will allow us to make amazing outbound campaigns. Hello, I'm Mike, and I help supercharge businesses with AI and automation tools. Enough talking, let's get into clay.com. So I'm over on on clay.com. You can follow along by clicking the link down in the description below. Also, by you using that link, you'll also get 3,000 free credits. So make sure you use that link down in the description below. But as you can see, Clay allows us to scale personalized outbound campaigns in seconds, not months. What I love is that Clay pulls from over 50 plus data sources combined with web scraping and AI to make really hyper personalized targeted campaigns for whatever we're trying to do. So I'm going to start off using their 14 day trial and I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. So now once we're inside Clay, we're brought to this workspace dashboard right here. And this is gonna be the central page where we have all of our workspaces and all of our databases for all of our leads and information. And we're actually gonna not use the Clay starter table here. What we're gonna do is come up to create new and we're gonna click on the table icon right here. And this will allow us to make a new table all pulling from Clay's data. And now what's amazing about Clay is that they have their own bulk data scrapers that they use to pull information from LinkedIn, Google, your HubSpot, GitHub, and all kinds of other great sources here to get started on making our list. And what we're gonna do is start off by using LinkedIn. So you can see they have a couple different options for LinkedIn, for companies, for jobs, but we're gonna use the people one here, find people from LinkedIn. So this will allow us to build lists of people from LinkedIn. I'll click on this one, and now we can just select our parameters for the people that we're trying to find for our cold outreach campaign. So I'm gonna go into job title here. I'm going to look for managers location and I want to find these people in Florida, for instance. And let's say I'm looking for an experience with a minimum of 10 months in their current role. Obviously, you can go through and make this as specific as you want. So I'll click on preview people. Clay will go through, use their own data scrapers and put together a list based on the criteria you have here. And a couple seconds later, we have over 2,500 matches found using Clay. It's only giving us 50 right here on the table, but using Clay's free plan, we're allowed to import up to 2,500 people. If you decide to upgrade your plan with Clay, you can scrape up to like 10 to 50,000 people, which is insane and kind of mind blowing if you think about it. But from here, all we have to do is just click on import the 2,500 people we got. And now we're brought to a new import option that will allow us to enrich our data even further. What we can do here is pick a couple different options to get us more data about the people that we're looking to scrape. We can select this option here to get a fully enriched profile, which will include things like their education. We could select this option to also get the personal email, this option to get the work email, and this option to get the mobile phone of the person. And now how this works is Clay actually uses third-party data providers from a lot of sources that you already know to get the information and put it in one consolidated list. So they don't actually have their own database that they pull from. What they do is they use all these other data aggregators as databases to then find the specific person that we're looking for. Clay uses a waterfall technique to go through the first database, look to see if there's any information on that person, and then it will add that information if it's found, and then it will go to the next database if it can't find any information. And it will do that until it's found information from everyone on the list, which is pretty incredible. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna continue for free with the basic profile data, but if you're on a paid plan, you can easily just select this and get the credentials right here. So let's click on continue for free. We have this amazing Excel looking style database here of all kinds of information based on our search criteria. You see we have all these people here and there are managers in the Florida state and they have things like company domain and LinkedIn profiles. And one thing I want to show you is that if we click on all of the profiles right here, we can actually export all this information just by clicking on the export button down here. And then we can download and view this CSV file. This will be all the information we just got from Clay for basically free. If I open it up here, you'll notice I have over over 2,000 rows of all the contact information we just got, which is pretty incredible. So that's how we can export any information that we make inside of Clay. But what I really wanna show you is how the data enrichment process works. You'll notice on my free trial of Clay, I only have 999 credits, and that will allow us to test out some of the functionalities and let me show you how this works. So if we come to the end over here and we click on Add Column, 
what we can do is we can add new columns of information based on the people that are in our table. You'll notice I have this add enrichment right here, and this pulls up a brand new dashboard to allow us to basically find whatever kind of information we want on that particular person. So there's some suggested enrichments to find the person's LinkedIn profile, their personal email, or their current company. So let's find some emails. We'll click on find personal email. And as I mentioned before, it's going to try each of these different services here in order to find that person's email. We can also add in other providers if we want, like Apollo, Lusha, or Swordfish. But in order to use these ones, we're actually gonna need to have our own API key if we want that. We're gonna stick here with the five ones that they provided for us. And we're going to use the LinkedIn profile here as the input data to figure out the person's email. And then all we have to do is just click on save. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to only run this for the first 10 rows. But obviously, if you wanted more information on everyone in your database, you would just click on save and run for all of the rows on your table. So I'll click on save and run 10 rows. If we head on over, you'll see we have a new column here called personal email, which is going to go through each of those different service providers and try to find us some email emails based on the people. Awesome. So we got some information here and it looks like it only used four credits. And that was for the four emails that I just found right here. Let's try to add some more information. So I'm going to come to add column here, add enrichment, and let's try to find the person's bio. So we're going to use these three different services here to see if we can find the person's bio. So I'll click on this and it will pop up right over here. So we're using LinkedIn and Clearbit for this one. And we're going to use the person's LinkedIn profile and their work email if it is found. And we're just going to run this once again for the first 10 rows to see if we can find some information. Let's try finding if there is a work email. So I'm going to try the work email one here. And I'm going to use this waterfall for multiple providers with these 12 ones here. And we're just going to give it a shot. So we're going to use the full name, which we'll use the full name right here from our information. We're going to use the company domain. And as well, we can also add in a validation provider if we want to validate these work emails as well. I'll just keep this as it is. So you can see too, our bios also finished up. We have some information on each person, which is great. While we wait for these emails to finish up, I'll just kind of show you some of the different possibilities that there are with enriching with clay. We have things like their Facebook, their education, gender, Instagram, job start date, job title, locations, profile pictures, Twitters, work experience. Then there's also some other functions here that we can use if we want to clean up our data. There's also some amazing recipes here that you can come and play around with. They're very similar to these ones right here, except they're more like two, three step processes. And there's also implementations with CRMs, email sequencers and databases. So if you use any CRMs like HubSpot or Pipedrive or any other kind of external databases, you can use those as well. And then also any of the other data providers that Apollo uses. And there is a ton of them here. So there's a ton of providers that you can choose from. All right, now back over here, it looks like we have some more emails that we can send out. Very nice. So out of the 10 people that we were searching for, we got almost eight emails from just their LinkedIn and some bios. And you'll notice that only took up around 40 credits. Awesome. So now let's take this one step further and start making some automated AI generated emails. We can come up here to start email campaign. And all we're going to do is click on draft messages. And this is where we can draft our example template email that we're going to use for every row in our database. So we can just start off with this quick question for and then if we want to use any of the dynamic data inside of our database, we just hit backslash. And then we have a list of different options here we can use. So I'm going to click on the first name here. So now you'll notice in our preview over here, we have quick question for Gabby. And then from here, we can type in our email. So I'm going to say, hey, and then backslash first name which is Gabby again, I'll add a comma there. And now we're going to use the AI feature to come up with a personalized line based off her job title. So I'll say slash AI generated text. And now we have a very similar ChatGPT style prompt here that we can use to make an AI generated first line based off the person. So I'm going to say write a personalized first line for first name. They are a job title at company name. Make this a compliment to the person in one sentence. Be brief and genuine. And then we'll click on run prompt. So let's see what we get for this first test here. Your leadership at Maverick Yacht Management sets the standard for excellence in the industry. All right, that's pretty good. But let's actually remove the name here. And let's just say write a personalized first line 
and they are a blank at blank. So yeah, well, you are a true asset to Maverick Yacht Management. Your exceptional leadership sets you apart from the rest. Okay, not too bad. You can make this as complex as you want and use other kinds of fields in here, like using their bio, for instance, that we pulled from that other database to make this personalized email, but I'm gonna keep this pretty simple for now. So based on that, I'm saving the changes, and that's gonna be our personalized first line using AI. Now, let's move on here. So now, this is where we can input something like our offer if we wanna make a cold email. So I'm going to say I specialize in AI development and automated marketing solutions. And I was just wondering if you've ever considered AI to speed up your marketing by 30%. We've helped Sally improve conversions and save time with AI. Would you be against me sending over a case study, Mike? And what we could do is just click on save and run for first rows. And this is going to make us our personalized emails for the first 10 rows in our database here. And obviously, once again, you can run this for all the rows and then have a massive list of people you can contact. If we actually look inside of this, you'll notice only the first 10 rows actually have, only have the personalized lines. So this is, hey John, you're a true real estate professional with unparalleled passion. But if we head over to like row 10, you'll notice there, it leaves a blank in here for the AI generated content. So you're gonna wanna make sure you click on all rows if you want that message right inside there. But from here, we have two options. We can either start the email campaign and run it in something like Smart Lead here, to which we can then put in our campaign name, enter in some information. We can use the body and the subject for the subject and the body. And then the email, we can use things like the personal email that we just found. Or what we're gonna wanna do is actually make a new column right here that's gonna allow us to combine these two email columns if it finds an email. So what I'm gonna do is click on add column. We're gonna head on over to formula here. And then we're gonna wanna input a formula to describe what we want to do to merge those two columns together. So I'm gonna say, put this email in the column if it exists first. I'm gonna use the validated work email, validated work email here. And if it doesn't, use this email instead. And we're gonna use the personal email, personal email that we found, generate formula. And it should give us a new formula right here which includes the output of our found emails. I'll click on output is correct, save formula. And this will go through and add all of our emails to our columns right here. So now we have a centralized column of a single email that we can send our campaigns to. Obviously you can send them to both if you want for maximum coverage, but you get the idea. So then we can click on start email campaign, create smart lead campaign, and then we're gonna use our formula column here with our emails that we're going to be sending the messages to. But also, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use your own email provider, you can just click on this button here to select all and then click on export and download view as CSV. You're going to get the entire file here of all the information that we just created, including the things like the found emails, like these personal emails right here, the bios, the validated emails, and also the messages right here. Oh, it's kind of broken, but yeah, you can see there's each of the messages for each of the people. If we kind of drop this down, we can see there's the messages formatted correctly inside of my Excel right here, as well as the formula list of emails that we found. So that's gonna do it for my introductory video on getting started with Clay. Once again, if you wanna follow along, make sure to click the link down in the description below and head on over to Clay and get started. I have a couple more videos on Clay that deal with some other other features like web scraping, which are really awesome. So make sure you subscribe to stick around for that. Also, if you want to work with me in setting up your clay campaigns or doing any other kind of AI or automations project, make sure to book a free time with me down in the description below. But if you want to see more on how we can automate all things business, check out this video here where I made an AI phone booking bot, which allows me to take inbound calls and book meetings to my calendar on autopilot. So I'll see you guys over there.